Hi guys, my name is Ara, and this is Rosara's Investments. I am having a rough day today, but I did make one enormous trade, and I really hope I'm right. So, I'll get right to it. I had some cash on the sidelines, and I already owned 11 options in Cirrus Logic, the audio supplier for Apple and the new iPhones. So, uh, my 11 options were down huge today, but I did have $27,000 in change, cash sitting around, ready to make some purchases from uh, sales from uh, a couple weeks ago. So, as soon as I found out Cirrus was down around $53, I decided to jump in big time. Uh, actually, before I made the purchase, I uh, consulted with a friend of mine that is very heavily into technical analysis, and he told me not to buy Cirrus Logic. So, um, I was hoping that he would give me some good news and say it's a terrific time to buy, but he said it's a horrible time to buy. So, investing, when investing, you have to make up your own mind, and I decided to go against his advice and purchase shares anyway, even though I value his opinion. So, I bought 516 shares of Cirrus Logic for a total price of $27,513 at an average uh, share price of $53.32. So, we will see if I'm right. Now, I could have bought options and I could have um, kind of leveraged my way into buying more shares than this, but the reason that I didn't was because options uh, come with a little bit of a premium over the stock and because I was already down so much, I was a little bit afraid. And since I can already buy over 500 shares just by buying stock, I think this is already a super risky thing for me to do. So no reason for me to take even more risk than that. So there's a couple reasons why I did buy more shares today. One, the price is low. I like to buy when things are low. Now that's not always the right decision. Sometimes when things are high, you should buy them because they go higher and the trend is higher, which is why my friend told me not to buy today. He said the trend is lower. So. I based my decision more on fundamental analysis and kind of common sense. So the whole market was down today. One of the major reasons was uh, because uh, of the Flynn news um, regarding uh, him lying to the FBI. So I thought that had nothing at all to do with Cirrus logic. Uh, another reason why Cirrus in particular was down so much was because there were reports that Apple is having some supply issues with the new iPhone X. Now, Cirrus is a supplier to Apple for many of its products, not just the iPhone X, but obviously iPhone X is one of the big products. So if this report is true, there is a chance that this will negatively affect Apple suppliers. However, in the past, there are always reports that Apple is having supply issues. Um, every year for the last 10 years that I remember, there's always reports. Uh, and that's because Apple sells massive, massive amounts of iPhones and to many, many countries. I, I would guess 200 countries. I don't even know. Um, last time I checked was a few years ago, but it was, it was like 190 countries or 200 countries or something like that. So anyway, uh, America is not Apple's only market. They sell to many, many countries and they um, have big shoes to fill. They, they set guidance at $85 billion for the Christmas quarter. So that's a terrific number and Apple has a tendency to under-promise, over-deliver. So if Apple's supply issues are not as worrisome as this report suggests, that means Apple could be underpriced and it means Cirrus Logic could be severely underpriced. So hopefully that's the case. And hopefully, Cirrus, which is trading around $52 or $53 today, uh, $52.60 right now, hopefully these supply worries are overdone and this Flynn news doesn't have too much to do with the stock market overall. And I am buying at a time when the market, and Cirrus Logic in particular, is at a point of maximum fear. So someone said, I think it was... Um, Rockefeller that said you should buy when there's blood in the streets. Um, basically, you should buy when fear is at its highest, and you should sell when everyone is happy, when the stocks are high and you know everything's good, all the news is good. So hopefully, I'm buying at the low point. This is an extremely large trade for me um, to spend over twenty-seven thousand dollars on one thing 
would be extreme enough. However, I also have 11 options, which is similar to owning about 1,600 shares of Cirrus, which is similar to owning about eighty to $90,000 worth of Cirrus Logic stock, which is a very, very, very big position for me. Normally, I would say this is a stupid thing to do, but in the past, when I have taken extreme risks, they have paid off, so I have learned to kind of put my money where my, my mouth is. When I'm afraid to do something, typically it's been the right thing to do. Typically, the right thing to do has been to ignore my fear and invest with my head. So I am really, really hoping Apple sells a lot of iPhones. So. I kind of wasn't in the mood to make a video today, and I just decided to uh, make the video because this is such a horrible day, and I do want people to see how I react to horrible days, to horrible news. Uh, Cirrus is one of my biggest positions, and now is my biggest position, and it was down huge today. And when I woke up and I saw the news and I saw how much it was down, I instantly was not happy. But I've been through this situation before, and experience has told me that when I'm extremely unhappy about the price of a stock, that's usually an indication to buy more, and then in the coming weeks or the coming months, I'll be rewarded for my uh, discipline and my patience. So that's probably one of the biggest things that I have going for me, is I can take a major loss. Um, at one point, my whole account was down about $7,000 this morning, um, but I'm able to withstand um, losses and bad news and kind of uh, put my money where my mouth is and take big risks. So I have this documented on video now and we will see if I am right. I'm not recommending that anyone else besides me buy Cirrus Logic. You have to make your own decision. But I just wanted to tell you what I am doing myself. Today, all my positions are down. I'm not going to worry about that too much because uh, mostly everything in the market is down today, uh, especially uh, technology-based uh, stocks and companies, uh, which is probably what I have more of than anything else. Uh, I'm still optimistic, and we have the Christmas quarter coming up, so I'm super excited for that. Um, if anyone has any questions for me or comments, please leave some uh, comments under my YouTube videos. I am getting uh, more people than I expected to watch these videos, so that's a good sign. I think my last video I had like 60 people watching it, which is terrific for a new channel. Um, also, uh, did I mention the giveaway? When I get 1,000 subscribers, I am giving away one Litecoin. So, in crypto news, uh, Bitcoin is up over $10,000 again. And uh, for some reason, when Bitcoin is under $10,000, uh, it seems like a really good deal. So, uh, there's been lots of times where I just kind of said to myself, like, when, uh, when Bitcoin was around uh, $5,900 recently, like, why didn't I just stick all my money into Bitcoin? Uh, that would have been a perfect thing to do. And um, also, the one I have more faith in, Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum was down around $280. Uh, I did buy a little bit more when it was around $280, um, and I'm happy I did, but in the whole scheme of things, it was a very small investment. So um, I am happy Ethereum is up to uh, $460 today, and I'm not sure if I will be buying more this week but I am considering it. I do think Ethereum will go back over $500 eventually, and I do think Ethereum will go over $1,000 eventually, maybe longer term, maybe 12 months or 24 months from now. Um, regardless of whether Bitcoin is in a bubble or not, I don't think Ethereum is in a bubble because it does have such potential, and, it, and Ethereum is very, very different than Bitcoin. Uh, Ethereum is not a currency. Ether is the currency, Ethereum is the platform and I do have a lot of faith um, in the developers, and I've been reading about that a lot, and I have a, a high degree of confidence. So, moving on to Litecoin. Litecoin is at a healthy $95 today. I did buy more Litecoin a few weeks ago, uh, so I'm happy about that, and I actually paid my phone bill via Litecoin. So, I don't know if I mentioned that on the video, but that was kind of fun to do. I tweeted about that, that I paid my uh, phone bill with Litecoin, and people seem to like that. So I will end the video here. Uh, cryptocurrency seems to be going good. Stocks seem to be going bad. But 
historically, this is a terrific time to buy. So I am buying. I did buy. I am out of money. I have no more money to buy anything. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm sure I'll be making some trades in the coming days or weeks. So these videos should be getting more and more interesting, but for today, it is an exciting day for me because everything is down and I decided to buy $27,500 worth of stock today on a very, very down day. So we will see how this goes. Thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. If you like this video or if you know someone that will benefit from watching it, please share and uh, thanks. Have a great day.